Hi, Mike here with another one of my orienteering videos. This time it's a local event for me at Beaverbrook North, just west of Boston. The first local event of the season in mid-April and it was an extremely wet Sunday. As usual, a warning, this is not a master class. I might say some good things, but I might make some mistakes and um, maybe if I do, you'll be able to spot them. So today I did the brown course. Let's see how it goes. For each of the legs between the controls, I'll give you a few seconds to think about what you might do. Then I will talk about the route choices that I made as a plan. And we'll take a look at some speeded up video with some voiceovers to see what actually happened. To get to the first control, I looked at going to the right and the left of the ball field quickly decided that the left one was correct and uh, went along the edge of the road. Um, through the woods though, I didn't spot that I should actually have gone onto the road itself, well not the road, but the sidewalk, which would have been a little bit faster. One to two was basically just go straight, follow the compass. So here we are at the start, punch the control and then go around to the left. Now I'll be running this at about, well exactly three times normal speed. I do a lot of walking because of my bad knees, so this gives the illusion that I'm running, but it also means the video goes through quicker. So now I cut through the, through the woods here, um, but then realized that I really should have gone on the road. I kind of thought going on the sidewalk was a bit of cheating, but it isn't really. And I saw that young lady zip past me, so that's what I did. First control should be fairly easy to spot, just being off to the right of the uh, open area and I can see her coming out of the control so it's very easy to find. There it is. And that's the first one. Now the second one I was basically going to go straight. I figured there were enough features that I could um, suddenly get across this road and open area and keep on track. I was mildly concerned because I remember a race I did here a long time ago where I had a similar leg but I drifted off to the, I forget whether it's to the right or to the left and the control might have been in a slightly different place than it was but I had a bit of trouble there so I wanted to be a bit careful and it was a bit messy getting through this green area you can see my head bobbing around trying to get through it but we do get through and then the control itself turns out to be very easy to spot being pretty much out in the open area so there's the second one you can either go straight to the control three or what I chose was to go around the side to the right on the trail and then up the hill to it. Three to four was basically just follow the trail and go down the road a bit and cut in from there. Coming out of two I went past this rock, but I drifted a little bit to the right. I think it might have been that the, um, the kind of rough wood area guided me that way. But you can see from my trail marker that, uh, that I was definitely going too far to the right. Didn't lose a lot of time there, probably just a few seconds. Anyway, get back onto the track here. And then go along the trail onto the uh, the road area coming up by the building and I was going to use the, the building and the road as a kind of a guide to when I should cut off into the forest. I just wanted to carry on a little bit further than I originally planned. There was a deep looking hole there, didn't want to fall into that. And basically go on a rough compass bearing right up towards the control. There's a wall there that you can see off to the left and the control's right there. Then it was basically turn around, pretty much go back the way I came. So the only challenge with this leg was when I came off the road going to the woods, would I find the control easily or not? This was all straightforward here. Go around the side of the building, down the road. You can see the rain on the uh, camera lens. Didn't realize that was 
depending on there, so it didn't clear it off. So I think most of the video will have you know, these rain spots on it. Across the road, you saw me go out to the left to make sure there's nothing, no traffic coming. Duck into the woods here by the wall. Pretty open woods, that's why it's marked as white on the map. It's runnable. Keep going in the right direction. Should be able to see the control fairly soon. Where is it? Come on, gotta be near it. There's a boulder there. That looks like that ought to be it. Sure enough, there it is. Four to five, you could take the trail, the large trail to the right, or cut off a little bit and do more contouring around the hillside on trail B, which is the one I chose to do, but I think I gained a bit of height unnecessarily, so I don't think it was the right one, but it was a more pleasant run, I think, than going on the main trail. Then you just have to decide whether you're gonna to go to the, on the left trail to get into the control or the right trail, and I went left. Five to six and six to seven were basically just straight line routes. Coming out of four, just trying to find the easiest way to run to go into this trail. Not too difficult going through the woods here. There's the wall, it was a little bit further to the right than I wanted to be. So I really should have gone down to that big trail on the right, but I decided I was going to go on this trail to the left and contour along a bit. If I'd have taken a straighter route out of Control 4, that would have made more sense. What I actually thought was, it's probably gonna be nicer running on the small trail, and I wasn't really that competitive. So let's take the small trail. So that's what I did. Spot of control for another course there. And then I had to go down to the road. So I had done some unnecessary climbing, going up to that path in the first place and then back down to the big trail. Go on, look at this trail to the right, there it is. Going to go down there. Now it's just a case of whether I go to the left or to the right. But I basically want to go more or less straight over. Decide when to turn right. There's a, a rock coming up there, and I use that a little embankment as a way to guide me towards the control. It should be going right a bit more. Come on, Mike, turn right, turn right. That's better. Now I should be able to see the control pretty soon. And it's just, it was a bit awkward going around these uh, fallen branches there to get out of the control, but there it is. Now I just come out, hit this trail, hang a left. Just keep going here. Across the wall. I kind of jumped across the wall, back across the wall. Um, it's not the most elegant way to get to the control, but uh, got there. I think I planned to go straight here, but I'd actually decided when I looked at it that I'll just go around the trail because it's going to be quicker. Where is the trail? There it is. Should have cut the corner going to it. Save a few seconds. There's a trail junction that I could spot. There's a way to deciding when to duck in the woods and get the control. There it is ahead of us. Right to it. Here, 
I felt there was a basic choice between going to the left or the right of the big marsh, A or B. If you go on A, then what I saw was you'd have to cross this big, nasty, potentially nasty stream just before getting into Control 8. So I decided to go around. I preferred the attack point from B. What I didn't realize that I saw some people had done afterwards was going to the left, but then going across a little bridge over the stream and picking up that small trail in, which I think might have been slightly shorter route. But anyway, I don't think there was a whole lot in it in the end. All right, just coming out of this control and just going through a little bit of slow woods to get out to the bigger trail. Then there'll just be a lot of trail running, or slow jogging in my case. Here we go. Plenty of time while I'm going down this trail to be planning ahead. I don't think I actually did much planning ahead while I was going down this. Just kind of relax and try to uh, enjoy the woods even though it was it was really wet and by this time I was getting soaked so let's just keep going down this trail I think we're going to speed this up a little bit all right nice views by the area. I'm smiling when I say that, but it actually was really pretty out there today. Got the trail coming in from the right. Should be coming up to take the left turn here, which is the way I wanted to get into the control. Because there's another small trail coming up on the right. You can see that lady in front of me. Um, I took the trail, but I cut the corner. I haven't got a time doing that. A little bit of uh, tricky detail, but um, very close to the control, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. And there it is. Eight to nine, get across the stream and then pick the trail up on the left or go on the right. I decided I would go on the right, although I had a lot of trouble crossing the stream with my knees given it was quite uh, quite wide and then go the trail up there. I suppose I could have backed out of eight and gone round and gone over the bridge but anyway I decided I was going to cross the stream this time. So nine to ten you can go straight or you could go around the trail. I thought the trail was quite a lot longer. The woods weren't that rough so I went straight from nine to ten. And then 10 to 11 you could go straight bulldozing your way through uh, the green marshes over the stream. I decided I was going to go round the trail, cross the bridge and then cut in through some green which is a bit longer but I don't know if it's better or not but it's what I decided to do. I think based on seeing a couple of competitors in the forest I may have lost just a little bit of time going round. All right here we go coming out and I know there's this uh, stream ahead and I don't know how big or how deep it is. So we're about to find out. It looks like it's quite wide. In my younger days I would just have jumped that. There's some twigs there, branches there. I didn't think I could cross at that. But eventually I decided this is ridiculous. I gotta get over it somewhere. There are a couple of people getting over it. So I went straight through over my ankles, soaked foot. I still decided to stay with the route choice that I was going to make, which was go around to the right. You saw the lady going straight through. I figured the trail would be a little bit quicker, although the woods do look pretty runnable, so it might actually have been quicker to go straight at that point. So 
So now I'm going to go straight across here, basically take a compass bearing. So this is where you can kind of guess that she's probably going to the same control as me, so you can kind of use them as a guide um, in that if you see them do a, a sharp angle turn like that and you think they're at your control point, you pretty much know that they got to the control there, but it's not a good idea to follow somebody in general because uh, they may not be going to your control or they may not be navigating with the route choice you made or they may just be a poor navigator and just go off trail, so got to be careful. I remember when I was in the UK uh, competing and uh, if we were in a, at an international event, we always thought it was safe to follow a Norwegian because they always seemed to know where they were going. But that was uh, just our little joke. All right, so going through some uh, slightly greener woods now, you see I have to use my arm to get through there. Just look for the end of a wall. Since the woods are pretty open, there aren't many leaves come through yet. It's early spring, so it should be pretty easy to spot. I'm just looking around, there's the wall, there's the end, there's the control. Now I just get through some more uh, slightly thicker woods to get onto the big track. Probably when I, I don't know whether I took the cleanest route through that or not. to uh, force your way through. Get onto the trail and I had decided I was going to go around to the left. You could see the other competitor there decided to go straight. So I'm going around all this stuff. I'm going to go across the bridge when it comes up. There it is, go across the bridge, I'm trying to look for a slightly less greener area, just to the bearing left a little bit. Now it turned out to be a little bit rougher coming through here in general than I thought, so I wasn't convinced that I had in the end made a faster route choice. See the bank on the right, so I could just follow that in. And there's the control. Okay, a lot of pretty direct routes here. Eight to twelve was go straight uh, up the hill there. Twelve to thirteen get up to the trail and then go along it and down. Didn't seem worth contouring along through the green. 13 to 14 though, I did contour along and go more or less straight. 14 to 15 was pretty much straight. 15 to 16, go along the hill a bit, and then you either go down the trail um, or you contour along the hillside. That's contouring along. I chose to go down and up the trail and then 16 to the finish is just down the trail. All right, just basically coming out on a compass bearing but well actually I found this trail so let's go on this trail faster way of getting through the woods and going straight see this yellow area then I suddenly realize it's probably a graveyard so I tried to get through it pretty carefully then just having to go up the hill you can even see even though I'm set the speed to three times it's pretty slow going Going uphill, I was probably walking that. Gone were the days when I could run up that. Just go in the general direction of the control. Don't have to worry about getting lost or making any kind of big mistake here because there are some trails right after the control. 
There it is. Pretty straightforward to the next control. The only question is going to be how easy is it to spot once you leave the path near the control. But here we go on the main trail and then coming up in 100 yards or so, 100 meters I should say, since orienteering is meters and kilometers, not yards and miles. Trail off to the right, coming up, just past this boulder. Here we go. That's a bike trail to the left. The trail that I wanted was going straight down here. A lot less distinct. In fact, I already started cutting off the trail there. Just going in the direction of the control. Which is on a slight, if you look at the contours, it's on a slightly shallower area. So this area ahead looks like it's the right area. And indeed, there is the control. Now it's going to contour along. And if you look at the contours, you can see that there's a slightly shallower hill that I'm going across. And if you can't really see, but to the left of me, it's a little bit steeper. So I'm just going along here. And then the I know that the control is going to be up a little bit. So I start to go up and I should be able to see the boulder fairly soon. There's the control. Now, I wonder if these are mountain bike trails. So I'm just going to go on a pretty rough bearing. Use the trail a little bit and cut through the woods. I should be able to spot the, the wall by the control fairly easily. Go across the trail again. Seems to have gone straight through some of the greener area there. Turned out the wall was very shallow one. There it is, just crossed over it. That's the control. Pretty open woodlands, as I said, at this time of year in the spring, early spring, when the, before the leaves have come out. Up in New England, it seems like over a two to three week period, the leaves all sprout. So this is when they're just starting. And in a few weeks' time, this will be a much, actually a much tougher course because there'll be more undergrowth and it'll be harder to see distance to the woods with the leaves. So going to this last control, I decided I was going to go around the trail, which I knew meant going down and up. I wonder whether I should have gone across the hillside, but I made this choice and just decided to stick with it. Pretty easy to judge where I was here because of the, the wall and the shape of the trail and the parking lot that was just off to the right. And now I'm just going to go up the hill, by the wall, stay on the right trail, and there's the control. Then let's go down the hill, back down the trail, to the finish, which you can more or less see ahead of me. Go over my, over my old damaged knees. It even took me a while just to go over that little step. Nearly there. Round to the finish. I enjoyed it even though it was wet. Very enjoyable. So overall I was pleased. I was doing quite a bit of walking and a little bit of slow jogging and uh, finished roughly in the middle of the pack. Uh, my thanks to New England Orienteering Club for putting on the event, especially to the meet director, Brendan Shields. And that's it for this event. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of this, do consider subscribing to the channel and uh, see you next time.